All right, let's give you guys a little update here. Um, this battery right here is actually a clean battery with the additive uh, added to it. Uh, so not only is there's a detergent in there, there's also something else. Um, it used to sit, I don't know if you can see that, 3.24 volts or 3.47. Around 3 volts is where it used to sit at when I added the additive and charged it. Now it's sitting around 7 volts. So the additive did help it a bit, um, but this video is not really about it. It was kind of is, but there's another one over here, right behind it. This new one back here is. It has the additive only, and it, and not the detergent. And actually, it's going down. So that's not the real. That's not the standing voltage on it. It's gradually going down. But uh, this video is about this battery back here. And this has that additive that was put in this that gave it more power. And this has got the additive in it. Um, but it does take a charge. I got a uh, battery charger here. But the problem is, is that it takes a charges too quick. The green light is on, but it. Well, it's already done. Um, but now it's at pulse charging, so it pulses charges at 3.5 volts. You can see the green LED is blinking, so it's pulse charging. Um, I think this charger, it still pulse charges when it's unplugged, but it's a Battery Miner Plus pulse charger, model 12117. Plug it back in. And it's uh, still pulse charging, so that's interesting. Um, I'm gonna remove that. Let's get that charger out of here. All right, I just wanted to show you that it does take a pulse charge very well, but I had to um, charge it via uh, another battery at first to uh, get it to take a charge every night. Then it does that. And then you can hook it up to the battery charger. Um, let's see, it run a, I have a 12 volt LED system here for your car. I'm going to plug it in, show you it can power a 12 volt load. So you get this just right. Volvo LED load. I think there's like 30 LEDs on here. I can keep it on there. So there you have it. I think it would set around, sit around where the Allen batteries would sit around. But still doing many more testing on it. That sucker is bright too, so that's interesting. So it powers an LED load for your car, 12 volt system. Um, well, I guess I could tell you guys what's in it, and I might get some slandered about it, but I have reason for doing it. Um, this battery contains no detergent. What it does contain is distilled water and Epsom salt. And that's it. And now many people are going, oh, yeah, blah, 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 you don't know what you're doing, blah, blah, blah. The reason why I did Epsom salt on distilled water is because when most people want to rejuvenate or bring back a dead 12-volt lead-acid battery, what they did is add distilled water and um, Epsom salt to the battery. They emptied the contents and added Epsom salt. And it worked. The battery brought back. The uh, Epsom salt eats away the uh, sulfates that will build up on the plate. So I said, why don't we just skip that and we just add Epsom salt only. And I did that. And it's, um, it's working. It's working to some degree. Um, I mean, it's probably out there. Um, it's not the perfect battery in the world. Um, I'm thinking maybe adding some little bit of sulfuric acid to it would increase the or lower the resistance internally of the battery and give me more more power but for right now I just wanted to test out 
whether or not um, the Epsom salt will work, and it's, it is working. And the way I did is I uh, boiled the water, the distilled water, very important to use distilled water, and um, I added the Epsom salt to it right before it started bubbling up. I added the Epsom salt and moved it, and I started stirring until the water started turning clear, letting me know that it's uh, absorbed all the Epsom salt into the water, and I add it to the battery. So yeah, very interesting indeed. Uh, much better than the detergent battery. The detergent battery was um, uh, just an experiment. It's nothing ventured. It's nothing gained. And that's how I look at the detergent battery. It's working. I mean, power six volt loads with it just fine. Um, but yeah, just want to give you guys an update on this and what I'm doing. So the miracle ingredients, or I don't know if it's a miracle, but Epsom salt. He will add it to their um, uh, sulfuric acid battery. I'm thinking if I should have just added the sulfuric acid first, charged it up, then removed the sulfuric acid, then add the distilled water and Epsom salt to it. I'm very sure if I did that, I'd be getting a lot more power. And the beautiful thing about using Epsom salt um, is that it doesn't sulfate as easy as the acid battery did. I mean, it will eat the sulfation that an acid battery uh, will produce. Um, but yeah, uh, I, just, I thought it would be a very interesting experiment. And I'm just happy to see it actually can take a charge. Let me get the clips on there. You can probably watch it better. Watch as it charges up to about 14 or so volts and it goes into pulse charging. There it goes. And it's pulse charging now. Pulse charging. So yeah, I'm still working on these batteries. And I thought I was getting a little update here. I'm going to play around with this battery some more and uh, I'll let you guys know some more. Um, I did hook it up to an inverter and it actually did power an inverter for a little bit. That was a 400 watt inverter but it didn't last very long. So yeah. There it is. Um, benefits is that it doesn't sulfate. It's not as toxic. It's not even claim toxic. Like outlet, I mean, like acid is you put in the battery, the sulfuric acid. Um, I mean, it's not toxic and, and it doesn't sulfate. Um, but it still needs to be have some bugs worked out of it. And yeah, there's your little update.